Hey, thanks for taking a look at this video. I uh, came across this the other day because I've been doing a lot of modeling with background constraints and I just had certain needs that I just was, really wasn't able to get out of Modo by using this wireframe mode as a background constraint. And if you if you work with background constraints at all, then you've probably encountered this problem, same problem that I have and that being that you want to see both the background and the foreground in this case the foreground would be these poly strips if say like if I was going to build a face or something where poly flow is really important you know building a low poly model on top of a high poly reference item you know this is a, the the way that Moto really allows you to, to work and work well well you know when you look in wireframe mode is the best mode that I've found up until now to use so you can see both but there, there's still a lot of visual clutter with all these wires that are in here and this is a relatively well not relatively it's a super easy object simple sphere and so it's very predictable of you know when you go to use your pen tool what you're gonna get when you put that stroke or you put that you know stroke down or those polys down you know basically where they're gonna fall um, but if you have geometry that you're constraining to that is um, a, much, a, a little bit more complex or much more complex then it gets a little weird and you it less predictable and so you want to switch over to the same as active layer well not really because you can't see anything it, it all just goes away so Ideally, what you want is for this background constraint to have a transparent quality to it. Well, it's as, it's as simple as just assigning a material to it. And it just occurred to me the other day that I could, that you could do that in Moto. Um, so what I've done, and I'll turn this on, is before I started modeling on my face layer, I went to my I created a sphere layer, and this obviously would be your you know your face or your whatever it is you're going to be modeling your base mesh which might be high resolution you're going to model something low poly on top of it so you assign a material to it basic as that and so that's the material um, and I'll, like, I'll just show you what it is the nothing fancy about the material it just has a transparent quality so you choose your color whatever it is you want and then the material trans um, the transparent amount just dial that up or down, whatever it, whatever you like, um, and I have just kept it, you know, 60, 70 percent, whatever, just around that area, and that's it. So you can toggle that on and off. Um, but going back to this um, face layer, the foreground layer, and th this is great because you don't have to have everything selected to see it. Um, you can grab your pen tool you can get to work on your poly flow and you can see what you've done you can see the wires and you can see what the all you know all these poly strips that you created and so it's kind of the best of both worlds you can again dial up the transparency on this background um, item as you like and when you deselect you can still see it so anyway I thought that was really useful um, it definitely is useful for me. Hopefully you'll find it useful in the models that you make. So, um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So I hope you like it.